Yo, what's up? It's your Rumi. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do a lot of videos talking about building and launching uh, online marketplace startups uh, like Studio Time, uh, which I currently run, uh, which is called the Airbnb and Music Studios and in 35 countries. Um, so it's a uh, it's actually the uh, largest online marketplace of music studios in the world. Um, so that was built using ShareTribe. So I do a lot of videos talking about um, building and launching marketplace using ShareTribe, which is a great um, kind of uh, tool or platform that you can use to take your idea to live marketplace. So with everything going on right now, I've actually um, gotten a lot of messages from people that are looking uh, basically to start online marketplaces that allow you to offer your expertise or services to others. So with a lot of small businesses closed down now um, due to regulations and the health concerns, and uh, you know, basically things are kind of day by day, but we don't know when things are gonna open. There's a huge need to um, basically have a lot of platforms um, and ways for people to take their services online and offer them to others. So I wanna make this video that actually walks through a marketplace um, that's uh, for online sellers to offer their services to others. And um, I, I built this using my uh, with my team at Thinkbox. So I'll link down in the description. So if you don't want to DIY yourself to use ShareTribe, uh, we actually help uh, founders take um, marketplace ideas to live products launch um, and then even kind of scale. So you can message us if you need any help with projects there. But this is actually a client that we helped uh, build and launch their marketplace uh, idea literally in days. So here it is right here, you can check it out. It's called tribehire.io and it's fairly straightforward, but it's a marketplace for online sellers. So if you're looking to start an online store, for instance, to sell on Etsy, to sell um, you know, even on eBay um, and, and different other kind of platforms, then you're gonna need, uh, you know, you're gonna need obviously to kind of get set up and maybe some services from that, or even just to talk with, you know, expert kind of sellers, um, people that have, you know, 10,000 plus, um, you know, sales under their belt. So this is actually a founder that has a ton of domain expertise in this space. Um, and they had an exi they have an existing business um, called Fuzzy and Birch. So they came to us and wanted to uh, wanted to, to build out this marketplace because right now they're having a lot of their community um, that, uh, you know, they need to have a way to offer their services, um, and, you know, and make revenue online to others. So we helped them kind of take their idea to live marketplace using ShareTribe. And here's the marketplace, as you can see, um, tribehire.io. I'm just going to kind of like walk through it and show you some kind of, um, or just kind of point out and mention some things. But basically, it's fairly straightforward. Um, we didn't want to, you know, make anything kind of crazy on any kind of custom home pages or anything. We just wanted to make it as, um, you know, as user friendly as possible and just very, very intuitive. So when you come to the URL, you see this right here. We have this kind of like top um, banner or header section. Um, you know, we have like the search up here. Uh, so it's fairly straightforward. You can see some of the listings right here. So we created some kind of placeholder listings that say like, see your listings here. And these are the two primary different types. So the types that you can of listings you can create um, is uh, you can offer packages um, or you can offer kind of consultations as a seller. Um, and then you can also offer hourly services. So those are the, you know, a few different um, listing types and then um, the per kind of unit as far as um, what's bookable. So we'll just kind of click on some actual real listings because here's, uh, here's some right here. So here is a seller. Um, this is a real user. So we'll just kind of click on their listing. Um, I'm not logged in or anything. Um, so this is just the state as like a visitor. If you come to this site right here and you can see it. So here's the title. Here's like the images, um, which are pretty, look pretty good as far as their, uh, you know, the well-designed kind of placeholders. Here's the user right here. Um, one kind of note is that we did actually hide the map on this and some other kind of um, fields that uh, typically display on uh, share tribe marketplaces. Just because this is a uh, virtual or online marketplace, a map isn't really relevant here. So you can see down here, we have like the basic description. Um, so it's fairly intuitive. I'm looking to hire this person, kind of like what I get and the services they're offering in this. 
Um, so here's some kind of custom fields that we added. Um, so for instance, like uh, examples, their work, here's experience, the number of sales. So as you can see, the seller is very experienced. And then the delivery time, once you book this, um, of kind of, you know, when, when this, um, these services will be delivered. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, you can go over here. We'll see a, a let's see a consultation because that's another kind of type. Um, we'll kind of go down here. Actually, it doesn't look like anyone else has added that yet. So we'll click on this one and you can see this is our kind of placeholder that we added. Um, so the different types uh, or different ways that you can uh, have a consultation with this person, um, which is just a placeholder, of course. It's just kind of like a multi-select, so like uh, phone, Skype, uh, Hangouts. Once again, we have some more kind of information, um, so that way you kind of know who you're booking uh, from and kind of how that will be delivered. Um, so this is fairly straightforward. You can you know, select the number of consultations on that. So um, as I mentioned, this is like a very lightweight marketplace. Uh, they already have a lot of real users on here, and we just want to keep it as, uh, as intuitive as possible. So here's all the categories, too. So... Um, the main categories and when you click on it you can see kind of like the expanded breakdown and it filters all the uh, all the results here on the page load um, we have like a price kind of filter years experience and then a uh, number of kind of the uh, seller sales volume and then also like the delivery times if you need it kind of expedited or if you're willing to wait like 10 days um, those are all different filters you can have right here so I'm going to walk through now, like if you were to sign up as a real user. Um, so I actually have an account, of course, because um, my team built this for this uh, for this founder. But here's the basic kind of sign up right here. Um, and we have some kind of custom fields that we created for them right here. As you can see, I'm actually just going to go ahead and log in. So you can we can just kind of walk through the process right um, of so what we're going to do you can see i'm logged in up here as you can see my avatar up here uh, so you can see my profile so i have two kind of um, placeholder listings so one is offering instagram kind of uh, strategy creation the other is like lean branding so these are my two listings um, and then over here i would be able to manage all my listings right so i actually have two closed so the good thing with this is that if you're looking to build um, and launch a online services marketplace and there might be a, a, a lot of different um, services that they can offer uh, using a, a kind of similar setup to this, you can easily have a seller have their main profile and then they can literally have, you know, any almost unlimited listings that you allow them. Um, but they all just kind of populate down here um, so they can share their profile for instance like mine would be tribehire.io slash like the yo Rumi. Uh, and this has like the kind of shareability built in so that way um, you know i can share this to say hey hire me on tribe hire and then people can see all the different types of services that i offer right here so we'll just kind of walk through um, add a services right here or like create a listing so you can see the flow, but basically we'll just go through like if I want to add Amazon SEO, so I can select the categories. I can add the listing title, um, the pricing. So here, once again, we can uh, make the pricing units per hour or per package. And then the detailed description. Here's some examples of my uh, work. I can select the years of experience, number of sales, delivery time. Um, here's a location that's not really relevant. We didn't hide it on the listing creation because this is information we might want to, uh, to have as a marketplace operator. But as I did mention before, we actually hide this on the listings, um, since it's not relevant, since this is online services. So once we would, um, submit that, it would actually be, uh, it would be live. Um, one thing to mention is, um, we do have the ability to, uh, make all the listings pending approval by the admin. So we ha actually had that at first, but as you can see, there's quite a few listings already. So we actually just uh, kind of changed that setting, but it's definitely possible. So we'll just kind of continue going forward or, or kind of demo. So here's an inbox. So there's no messages, but um, any kind of request for services, I would see in my inbox. And this would populate like a new kind of view of that inbox. Uh, I showed you my listings over here. You can see kind of my settings. Um, so you can see my first, oh, this is just my profile information. Um, I don't have any transactions, but I would be able to see all my transactions here. So uh, the good thing is um, a lot of these sellers are going to have a lot of, of sales through this marketplace. 
So they might want to filter um, by the different states of their transactions. So we can see all the different ways that we can filter them right here. And then the payments for this marketplace actually uses um, PayPal as their payment uh, gateway. So um, that's how you kind of configure that. So here's the kind of the basic marketplace. Once again, um, here's like the tribehire.io. You can actually kind of check it out, but this is a great example of an online services or expertise marketplace. Um, and I uh, basically just wanted to show you like a real example of this that my team and I made uh, for a founder um, at Thinkbox because um, we're seeing a huge increase in uh, the amount or, or in founders that are looking to uh, you know, build these kind of marketplaces that are offering online services and expertise right now, kind of given the state of everything. Um, and they're great ways to kind of quickly spin up these marketplaces using uh, no code and build out very specific um, kind of niche marketplaces that are focused on one kind of core uh, community, which in this case is for online sellers. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I want to just do a kind of quick uh, unedited style uh, just to kind of give you um, a real kind of demo and example of what's possible using a no code platform called Share Tribe. So hopefully you found it helpful. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you found it, if you did find it helpful. So that way I can kind of keep making these videos. Um, and if you have any comments, comment below. I'll also put uh, some contact um, and uh, other information in the description. So reach out if you need any help taking your idea to live marketplace using minimal time and resources. Thanks.